Yoga for Kids and Teens with Sean Vig and Addie. Friday's final yoga class, Stretch and Twist. And before we begin the final day and Addie yawns, I want to give a big shout out, a big one, to Mr. Haggy, 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 and the Delaware Valley School in New Jersey who do my yoga videos every day in PE class. So hello from me, Coach Vig, and from Addie. All right, let's begin our final day of yoga for kids and teens. Ah, uh, one more thing. This is day five. This is stretch and twist, total yoga stretch. As always, check in below right now. Let me know you're here, whether you're doing this with your class at school, your sports team, your workout group, your card, your backgammon club, wherever you're doing this, let me know right now. All right, no weights, no machines. Welcome to day five. The playlist for all five videos in this challenge is right up there in the about section below. Let's go. All right, socks off. Day five, stretch and twist. It's good to be a little warmed up before you start this. Hi, Addie. <laughs> and let's begin in butterfly. Bottoms of the feet together. Take your hands on the feet. As always, deep breathing in the nose and out the nose. So we really fill and empty the lungs. Let your shoulders drop back. Now take your elbows, no matter where your legs are, let me turn a little bit, and press those elbows into the inner thighs. This is one we always did in gym class, also in track and cross country. So as you exhale, you're gonna hinge forward, really opening up the hips, the glutes, and the lower back. Let's do three more breaths in the nose and out the nose. Cram as much stretching and twisting as we can into this short amount of time. Good. Another chilly day in the sun. Now keep your butterfly. Let's twist, I'll mirror you. Let's twist to the right. So take your left hand to the leg and your right hand behind you. Let your shoulders drop down. With each exhale, you're gonna twist a little further. Two more breaths. Good, keep sinking those knees down. Beautiful, and then we twist to the other side. So exhale, we twist to the left, left hand behind you, and there we go. There is the sun right there. Hope you like the lo location today. That's Elephant Butte up there. I've hiked up there many times and filmed, but living in Colorado, the whole state is a playground to film in. I love it. One more breath, twist. Okay, let's see how much further we can go with the butterfly. Bottoms of the feet together, of course. Now, if you're able, take the hands to the feet or walk the hands forward. Take three breaths. With each exhale, hinge forward a little bit more. Good. Back is nice and loose. Always with the breath. You exhale and go a little further. And let's do one more stretch in the butterfly family. So we keep the butterfly. We did this, did we, in a previous video? I'm not sure. I guess you'll let me know. Take the shoulders back and down. It's the mudra, M-U-D-R-A. Lace the fingers together and now open the chest. So we add a nice lift to the upper body. Let me make sure I'm in the sun. There we are. Two more breaths. Relax the jaw. Tuck the chin a little bit so we're stretching the back of the neck. Good, you feel that? Good. Let me know below. Always comment, leave your feedback. Which pose was your favorite? Release. Let's shake out the arms and the legs. <laughs> okay, cobra or upward facing dog, hip dips. We've done these before, but without the hip dips. I want you to come down. You can have your forearms down too if you like. Remember cobra, hands under the shoulders we lift up. So we're here, or you can press all the way up into upward facing dog. Shoulders are back, squeeze the glutes. Now we dip the hips. 
Exhale, dip, inhale, center, back and forth. Nice twist. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a little stuffy today. I think it's the weather. We have snow coming tonight. So a little, little stuffiness, but I feel good. Dip it back and forth. Let's do 10 more times. Here we go. Exhale to the side, inhale, center. And keep your upper body lifted. Three, four, five. Shoulders back and down. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Dip, lift up. Feel that stretch. And then lazy dog, stretch it back. Take the hands and do a little, little sliding back and forth. Keep that spine nice and loose. Feel that, ooh, releasing the back. Especially, have you been sitting a lot today? You've been sitting a lot? You gotta keep the back loose. Okay, folding leaf stretch. Uh, let me turn this way so I can be in the sun. Take the legs in front, shake them out. Now, folding leaf, you can bend your knees if you're feeling really tight. I'm covered in grass, how about that? You want to hinge forward, you keep them bent or, or lengthen. Grab the toes, the feet, or the ankles. With each exhale, you're going to extend them a little further. So all at once, you're hinging and you're pressing the backs of the knees down. But beware of doing this. Don't just drop down. You'll disconnect your abdominals and everything from the stretch. Let's do two more breaths. Then we're, we're going to go into the walking folding leaf. Good. Now we walk. Bend one knee, press the other back of the knee down, and then switch. So the upper body is going to sway a little bit. Back and forth. Feel that looseness in your spine, in your back. The walking folding leaf, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do four more steps. One, two, three, and four. Stretch once more, and then rise back up. Give a little shake of the arms and the legs. So much to do, so little time. The lying scorpion. I'll turn back this way. Lying scorpion, one of my favorites to teach in my classes. Come down onto your stomach. Take the arms out, touching things on the ground. Now, lift that right leg up. We're gonna bend at the knee and drop it back behind you. You can even extend this right arm if you like. Hold it right here. Each exhale, bring the foot a little further back. There's Addie, where's she going? She's lumbering. Good girls. <laughs> are you doing this with your dog today? I don't know, maybe you are. One more breath, reach back a little further. Oh, very good. Feel that stretch down the side. And now we switch to the other side. So back to the middle. <sighs> Let me do a quick shirt tuck here. <sighs> I'm so vain. I probably think this yoga flow is about me. Take your left leg, lift it up, bend the knee and drop. Five breaths. One more breath, slide the foot a little further. And then, oh, beautiful, back. Cobra or upward facing dog. Perfect position, lift up. Let me go forward a little bit, shoulders back. Squeeze your glutes, that's your bum. As you flex the bum, it's gonna protect your lower back. And then back to lazy dog, take the knees a little wider. Again, those little hand slides, back and forth. Keep your back limber and ready for anything. Okay. Whew. So many things to do. Wide down dog with a twist. We've done down dog before. Let's add a little wide stance and a twist. So hands down, take your feet wide onto the floor or the edges of the mat and press back. Let this whew, simmer for a second stretching the entire spine. The left hand is gonna reach. Either you can grab the foot or the leg. If you're unable, just take the hand here, not grab. 
exhale, we're gonna twist a little bit into that wide down dog. Two more breaths. There's that twist again. <laughs> All right, to the center. Let me tuck in that shirt. You, you just stay where you are, okay. Wardrobe malfunction, now the right hand. Two more breaths. And then downward facing dog, bring the feet in. I'd like to thank Addie for barking at a mountain biker. That was nice of her. All right, pigeon. Remember our old friend, the pigeon? We're gonna do pigeon and adding a twist. Take your left knee forward. Drop the leg down. Remember this one? Sliding the right leg back, right over the center as we open the hip. Good, shoulders back. We have proud pigeon first. Chest is open, shoulders back. Also get to work the triceps here and the shoulders. Okay, now adding the twist. You're gonna love this one. Bring your right forearm down. Take your left arm, bring it to your back. So we exhale, roll the left shoulder back. This is the twist. Now if you wanna go further, bend that right leg. Take your left hand, reach the top of the foot. So with the exhale, we twist and pull. Twist and pull forever. A little sound of music there. I think I was inspired by the mountains. That's right. Two more breaths. Twist and pull. This is really ratcheting up the stretch on the top of your thigh, your quadricep. Feel that? Okay, you let me know. Step back, down dog. Now, whew. let us take it to the other side. Right knee forward, and we set up that pigeon. We still have the sun? Okay. It's like we're filming, then all of a sudden, shadows. It's always exciting filming outside. We've got shoulders back, we're lifting. Now, Pigeon with a twist. Left forearm down, right arm. So we have the twist, you could stay here. Each exhale drawing that right shoulder back or bend the leg, reach the top, you feel that? Exhale, twist and pull, three more breaths. Good, it's gonna feel tight, that's good. That means you're working the area that needs to be worked. That's so nice, I hate getting out of this pose, but we must. Release, step back to down dog, and bring the forearms down. Remember our old friend, the dolphin. Knees can come down to modify, five breaths. Really opening up the shoulders and the back. The knees come down. Take your left foot forward, low lunge with a twist. Slide that right knee back. This time it's a prayer twist. So we bring the hands together and we twist to the left. You can also open the arms if you like. Each exhale, of course, we're twisting a little bit more. Three more breaths. All that nice lower back release. Twisting is often ignored, so it's so good we can go through with all these stretches to loosen up your back. Okay, switch to the other side. See if you can slide your feet. Watch this. <laughs> Boom. Okay, and then hands together. Whoa, all right. The earth must have shifted. Twist to the right, and there we are. Remember, you can open the arms too. Good. Just a time for a few more things. There's so much more to do, but you can, you know, definitely keep following me on this channel. Hit the subscribe button, and uh, I have hundreds of videos on this channel where you're watching this from. Okay, let's 
bring the knees forward. Let's come down onto our backs. You're gonna love these. We're gonna do a plow and a candlestick pose. These are always very popular when I used to teach yoga for kids and teens at the Montessori School in Celebration, Florida. So come on down, bring the knees in first. This is always a wonderful stretch. The knee hug, rocking back and forth. I want you to breathe into your lower back. That, think of it as a compartment that you're filling with water, with vasa, with agua. Now, like always, I'll give you a few progressions here. If you're not ready for the plow, if you have any neck issues or high blood pressure, leave the plow out, or if it doesn't feel right or look right, don't do it. So you could stay here with the knees in, or a little more intense stretch, bring the legs up, grab the feet or the ankles, and sink the tops of your thighs on, woo, woo, onto your chest. That's nice, just lovely. Breathe into that stretch. So you have those two options, my friends, or you can go into the plow, P-L-O-W, plow. Speed the plow. You would take your legs out, arms to the sides. Use your abdominals to bring your legs up and over. Hands can be here. They could be on the ground or lace the fingers. Some people like to take the arms overhead. That's up to you. Keep your eyes to the sky. Don't move the neck. And breathe into your back. Three more breaths. The plow. My voice changes in this pose. <laughs> now you can stay in either one of those poses or move into the candlestick, also called the shoulder stand. Your legs come up, hands on the lower back, and there we are. There's the wicks on the top. This is a popular one. Definitely relaxes the whole body and opens up your breath. Three more breaths. If you really want to work your core, you could drop the arms down. <laughs> what is Addie doing? Oh, I love the candlestick. In the hall, Professor Plum. All right, let's all come down. Bend the knees and slowly lower back down. Bring the knees back into the chest. <laughs> And lying spinal twist, drop the legs to the right. Oh, there we are. You could extend the top leg out if you wish. <sighs> Arms overhead, or here or here. That's up to you. I like to take my hands right here. Good, feel that twist. One more breath, loosening up the sides, finishing up our day five of this yoga challenge. What a, what a good time it's been. All right, bring the knees to the center again and drop the legs to the left. Breathe into that twist. A good word of advice, especially for something like this, which is your, the gravity is doing all the work. Your gravity and, the bo and your body weight is to get out of the way. Don't try to tense it up. Don't get in the way of the stretch. Release and breathe. Think of the beach. Think of the mountains. Think of something relaxing. Okay, now bring those knees back into the chest. Wiggle the fingers and the toes. And since it's the last day, and I'm getting grass in my mouth, let's come on up. We'll do a big finisher here in style. Cross-legged position. Shoulders back and down. Inhale, bring the arms up. Remember cactus arms? Well, let's do them. Take the palms out, open the chest. So we leave this class with the best posture possible for whatever you are doing after this routine. Once again, bring the arms up, cactus arms open a little wider, shoulders sliding down the back. And one more time, arms coming up, palms together, slowly bring the hands down, and that does it for day five. Check in right now, let me know you're here, and let me know where you're doing this class from in the world. Congratulations, you made it through day five. That's the whole yoga challenge right there. Remember, bookmark, thank you, Addy. Thank you very much. Bookmark the official playlist. It's on the screen and the about section below. And once you, you know, you're finished with this, you want to move on, take my seven day full yoga challenge. Link is in the about section below and perhaps it's on the screen also. But it's me, Coach Vig, signing off. Keep me posted, keep me updated and keep doing your yoga. Addy, do you have anything to say?
Okay, she speaks with kisses. All right, my friends, great work. We'll see you next time. Subscribe now to never miss a workout on this channel. It's been a pleasure. Bye. On my best-selling book, Power Yoga for Athletes, over 100 yoga poses for all ages and fitness levels, as well as 25 complete yoga flows and training logs for all the major sports. Get your copy today, or perhaps you do better with four copies. Twist. It's going to be a little warmed up before you start this.